Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Laser Fighter One One One. Welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm not quite sure if I want to call this a, a series. Maybe just like, maybe just like sixteen point one or something like that, or sixteen point five. Uh, maybe I'll put it in its own series, uh, its own episode. I'm not sure. I'll decide depending on how what what kind of content is in each one. But this is um, the side stories. I decided I would do two of them. Uh, over the weekend, obviously, before in in between the uh, the the two things for the New Year's, Happy New Year, by the way. I know it's been a few days; it's been at least six days since New Year started with you guys. But um, yeah, uh, it is. It's still December for me. I'm still recording this in December before Christmas. So <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm just kind of like recording so that way I don't have to do anything over the holiday season. So I'm recording everything pre anyway. But anyway, um, this is going to be DDLC, the uh, the side stories. I've not I've not looked into these at all yet. Uh, I've played the main game, obviously, but I've not looked into any of the side stories. So let's see what these are all about. So I'm going to start out with trust. Uh, yeah, let's begin the side story trust. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Um, there's no. Oh, okay. It's like a little slideshow thing going on here. This is pretty cool. So this is like, is it, is it like, oh, this is a loading screen, essentially. Okay, I think I understand now. It gives me all these, uh, oh, this is the literature club room. That's dark. Oh, no, no, it's lighter now. Okay, everyone. Oh, hey, Monica. The literature club is starting. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Ugh, I miss the debate club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Monica's the only member of the literature club. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, Do you like literature? Maybe no one is into literature enough to pick it over any other club interests. I can't rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision? But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. But before she realizes... It, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. Oh, she's sleeping on a job. That's not good. Um, hello? Oh, hey, Sayori, how you doing? Suddenly a voice causes Monica to snap awake. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I never do this. <laughs> is this the napping club? No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit it is in fact the literature club. This is the literature club. Yay, I got a thought I got it wrong for a sec. I'm super sorry. I was, like, so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do that all the time. Oh, um, did I miss the club meeting? Where's everyone? Uh, well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm really working hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you, that means I get to be vice president. Wait, vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be the president. <laughs> now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what is your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening to not be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I do care, I promise. I have a hard time being serious, that's all. I didn't mean for it to hurt you. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. I would make a terrible vice president. I mean, I'm sure that Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she just still doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry, this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found more members at least? Well, no. I want to join now. Really? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing, and you should be really proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn it into something stressful into something fun. If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica, that's such a cool name. Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling. Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes her name is already written on it. So what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. Cool. And think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like a mission. My mission is to make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. 
Sayori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug, then lets go. Some people can really use a hug sometimes. Besides, Sayori whispers loudly, hug energy is what keeps me at my best. <laughs> hug energy, Monica laughs. Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow, then. It should be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to think it's really hard to, to tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it should be fun. So this is like the beginning part of it before like before like anyone comes. This is pretty cool. A day passes and as time comes for the literature club. Monica and Sayori reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive in the club room, but finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. It's been 10 minutes already. Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining? No, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday, but I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sayori comes bounding through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry, I'm late. I'm here. It's okay. Welcome back. And Sayori spins over to Monica and deposits a sheet into Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Take my hand. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my steps so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up. The more I can lend to you. If you trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Wow, that's a good one. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course. Wait, wait, no, that's the wrong side of the paper. Huh? I wasn't ready to share that yet. I'm so embarrassed. Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now. Do you write poetry often? I do, but I'm sure I'm not nowhere near as good as you are. <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again and a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the poet person I want myself to be, or something like that. Oh, you should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong there. I do need to, like, set a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision a club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I would love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people usually. Well, you can when it's in a poem, right? Yeah, I think that's helping me form a more cohesive version for the vision for the club. I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by accident. Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that someone else read it. I'll try and show you more, off, more of them in the future. I'd love that. Oh, geez, I'm getting distracted. Do you want me to go over the recruitment brainstorm together? My brain stormed so hard. It was like a brain hurricane. My brain is a natural disaster. <laughs> Sayori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Make cupcakes. I was hungry, but it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me think about this. I mean, when would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club. What if we had free cupcakes on the flyers? I'm like kind of worried that would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? People would come just for the cupcakes and leave. Ah, oh, nobody would do that. That would be mean. But, you know, I want to find people who are really into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list. Hunt for people reading books. I don't think I get it. Like, going around the school, finding people who are reading books, you know? Like, in the morning or doing lunch. And we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is, like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How would they know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them, but that would be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them on the wall. Eh, I'd definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful. <laughs> I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't want to be just like, join the literature club. Let's figure out if we can better engage people. What if we told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sarah, you pretend you're a normal person for a sec. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How can you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm, probably like, literature's stupid. I'm joining the anime club. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Okay, what if we, like, do group reading and discuss it together? I would probably nap through that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but it doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We really need to catch their interest, you know? Mmm. This sucks. Why is it so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Me? Well, 
Kind of like what I said about a poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in a way you can't normally do when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? It's like, intimate. Yeah, how do you get that across to people? We could be like, express your true self. Be intimate with us. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, what is it? I forgot all the things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed, but weren't... Ah, never mind. We want to go eat your stuff then? I'll forget it if I don't do it now. <laughs> well, I'll just wait for you then. Okay, it'll only take a second. Sarah so dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts down on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. But who do you want to be? Make new friends? Discover a new you? Discover your heart? No. Write your heart out. No. Write into your heart. Write into the way into your heart. Join the literature club. With, write the way into your heart. Wow, that's lame. Monica! Ah! You startled me. Sorry, but it's something important. On the way to my classroom, there was a girl reading a book. Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her! Wait, are you sure she's not just doing homework? I can tell she's really into it. Um, well, I guess you could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up from her desk. Then the two depart to the classroom with Sayori leading the way. This way, you don't have to run. Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom and lowers her voice to a whisper. This is going to be Yuri, 100%. See, in here, Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president. I would probably scare her away. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath and timidly enters the classroom. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um, well, I entered the classroom. She didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the flyer on her desk and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. I hope so. Should we head back now? The two head back into the club room. Sayori feeling rather accomplished and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. That's got to be Yuri. She, she wouldn't like... At least not Suki would just look up, you know, and just be like, what the fuck are you doing? Upon reading, Monica and Sari resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics from professional to silly. After going through Sari's list and Monica coming up with the ideas of her own, the two end up in a better spot from than where they began. Well, it was today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. I can't wait to get some new members. Hey, what's this? Sarah appears at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking of myself. Join the literature club right the way into your heart? That's so cute! <laughs> I thought it was a little overdramatic. But, Sarah pauses and thinks for a moment. You know, I don't think you give yourself enough credit. What? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. And it's like I can't accept anything less than that. But in the end, I think it helps me try my hardest at everything, so I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So I'm really just afraid of deviating from that, the vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Sayori taps her finger against a sheet of paper. Write the way into your heart? I think you're trying to do is to make the club that you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Monica returns Sayori's smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. We're really going to make the best club ever. Sayori nods, and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner and the only movement in the afternoon sunlight, trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Sayori breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me you're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sayori beams and grabs her things. You can go ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's all right. I just need some alone time. Hmm, in that case, Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the classroom. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most? I don't get it. I just want to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that, because it's the window to the real person inside of us. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. 
Hmm? Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Does Sari leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. It's a folder of poems. Become the flower. A feeling of joy as a flower plucks from the ground. The color of the scent. It's so pretty in my hair. Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment. Yanked away in an instant. All for me. All for joy. I need more. I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, pluck, pluck every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. Pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die and you too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends? I look in every direction, and the field is standing, the prosperous field. It's a barren wasteland. The fruits of my labor, the carnage of my joy. And that is why I've decided I must become the flower. The hell? Wait, Sayori. Oh, okay. So, all right. that That's pretty cool. I, I kind of like that. All right, guys. Well, that's going to have to be it for today. My name is LazyFrider111. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content. And I will see you guys later.